Hey guys, welcome. I'm back. On yesterday's video, I basically did a low effort in trying to get you guys the Microsoft HoloLens. In today's video, we're going to try a little bit better by actually giving you guys uh, closer to the real unboxing, if you will. And I'm also going to show you some features and things that we can do with HoloLens. Last time, I was trying to include that in the video, but I could not do so. But in this video, I'm going to include that as far as like a couple applications that I can show you within the HoloLens experience, the HoloLens 2 experience, and also what is so cool about it because you see me laughing yesterday, ecstatic, and I wanted to show you, share that experience with you guys, and so yeah, thanks for watching the video, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because it'll be awesome. Okay, so when you first get the HoloLens video, HoloLens, you know, device, it comes with a box like this and this box again is very much one of those you know experience that's showing you what you're gonna get what the product will look like they have the hummingbird hummingbird as their you know main representation of the HoloLens device and on top of that you are gonna also see that it does come with a specs page where you can see you know what you get out of it if I zoom in over here for example you are gonna see that it's a mixed reality ready for business bring it to it to life on HoloLens 2 with business apps and solutions available on HoloLens.com so it comes with a HoloLens device carrying case overhead strap microfiber cloth charger USB-C cable so it comes with that and we're gonna take a look at all those and then we're also gonna take a look at the device as well as trying to get you guys an actual demo on what the device experience will be looking like because again this is the nice device right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of the box I did kinda spoil it, I already did this before but I'm gonna do it now in a proper setting so where it looks like a you know more easier to follow whereas that last time it wasn't easy for us so I'm gonna take this box open and I will put this other box away so this is how the unboxing is really so you can see now you're getting the HoloLens experience on the device wise that's what it looks like if I get it close over here you can see that it has the HoloLens printing on here and it's pretty much a very nice casing and here if you look at it it has a strap so this strap technically you can take it with you and the box is very sturdy like it's very sturdy box and so technically speaking you can just do this if you want to so and then and it has this nice zipper it doesn't look cheap this looks like almost like a you know one of those rugged box the way it looks like here so let's see if I can get the camera to focus so you got this now we're gonna open it I always have problem opening it so let me go ahead and open this there you go it's opened now we're gonna go ahead remove this other box away from there and we're gonna go ahead and open the HoloLens device that's what the HoloLens device is look like and this is pretty much what you get out of it so a lot of times when you see some device that is so expensive you just get disappointed with the way the packaging is done not in this one this one the packaging is super cool like super well thought out you know they knew they're giving you a expensive device so they give you a carrying case that can protect you from let's just say accidental drop damage because nobody wants to replace a $3,500 device you know they just purchased so because of that if you're not using it to put it in the, this case it will protect you from it and again you can feel the material in the box it's not cheap and I wish more manufacturers can do this because then you're most likely not gonna end up replacing the device so now this is what the headset looks like you can see it's pretty even and uh, before I show you the front I'll focus on the back so this is adjustable so if you twist this if you have like smaller head you can twist this knob and it will make it smaller for you if you have a big head I'm one of those people with a big head so I'm gonna have to 
I'll extend this until you reach my head and then this side is where if you look out of here I'm gonna try to get it close let's see if the camera can focus a little bit yeah that is basically your volume up and down over here so that's your volume up and down so that's your volume up and down and then here it's your power button so you got your charger and you got your 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 power button over here that's how you turn it on and then here you guys can see that you have your microsoft window logo it's made by microsoft this is again what i was doing to, to, the, to adjust it you can twist it if you twist it this way you can see this is going in it's moving slowly to make it smaller maybe you could use it to put in like if a little kid if you have a kid or or maybe little brother or sister you know you want them to experience this nice HoloLens mixed reality experience you could you could basically adjust it for them and then if you're one of those people that adult with big head like I said you could make it bigger so you can fit in your head and then here is the brightness this thing is super bright I made the let's just say when I started to try yesterday I made the mistake of uh, basically adjusting not just in the brightness good and so I was uh, I was actually felt like I was going blind in for a second super bright and then this is the front of this of the color lens glasses and so yeah and then you have your you know headboard over here but yeah let's focus on the front a little bit so the front you got your camera this camera is actually going to be looking at an object in, in the house like if you are sitting on the couch or if you're trying to scan your room it will look at where you are and it will try to basically do a real-time AI scanning and uh, it, it's like a, one of those things that knows what objects are it's not just gonna think oh you're in space but it's gonna try to know the object scan it and then whenever you have a hologram image it will try to you know I guess associate with the environment you're in and then here is another cameras. It has so many cameras, this thing. And I'm still new about it, so I don't know a whole lot about this other than, you know, trying to find out more. And then here again is the goggle. And just one of the things about HoloLens device that's good about this is unlike the VR, where you just, you know, in the most world, you don't have any idea what's going on in the real world. This is one of the devices that where you actually get to, you know, be able to talk to people in fact, if, if you are done, if you are doing this HoloLens experience and then you want to talk to your friends, you could just put this up and it doesn't look so awkward in the conversation. You, know, you can flip that up and it'll be good. So, and I'm going to wear it now and I'm going to show you how it looks like and, uh, you know, see if it's, this is something that it's not, it's worth it, you know. And so, and I'm going to try to do something. As you can see here, one of the things I'm trying to do, it's pretty much trying to capture the experience. Last time I failed to do that, so I'm going to try to capture the experience of the HoloLens. So let me put it on and then I will show you. So let me throw, change the camera towards me. So there you go. I got to put it on. And again, I must adjust the head strap so it looks like a, a decent that way. And so, yeah, so I am wearing the HoloLens now. And now it's time to show you guys the immersive experience. Hopefully I charged it because I wasn't sure if I charged it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay, it's booting up. So it discharged. And I'm now going to go into cyber mode, as my brother calls it. So there's it. So okay, Let me change this actually a little bit. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started by putting on the HoloLens glasses, as you can see. Now I put the glasses on, I'm gonna go ahead and project it to my recording software so I can show you guys. So one of the things that you're gonna see is that this has a camera that can actually show you what has been recorded and in this case you can see that those that's are what I'm using in my basement right now, all the equipment in my basement. It may be a little shaky for you guys, but 
you know, I hope you can see. And that's my virtualized email where I'm getting an email notification through the HoloLens. It's pretty cool, right? And then here's LinkedIn email. And so I'm, I'm wearing the headset and you can see I set an object with this virtual or how soccer ball, 3D soccer ball rather, and then 3D astronaut, and then my virtual browser is also laying down, and that's my YouTube open with HoloLens, and another browser session, my OneDrive screen, I mean you name it, you see I've been going nuts on opening browser after browser, then again there's my 3D window, so, and that's basically what I have so far now. And uh, basically, the auto lens is great in the aspect of that. You can have unlimited. And you can see how it is basically how I can bring up the start menu by using the palm of my hand. I'm going to open Microsoft Edge here. The hand gesture is still not optimal sometimes, but that's, you know, something that I think, uh, you know, it's either maybe me just not knowing how to use it yet, but it's so far. That's the only thing I can see that might not be optimal. But I'm gonna go ahead and close some session. And I'm gonna make this bigger. See, if I wanna drag it, just close my hand like that. And I can put it anywhere I want to. And I can actually make it bigger as well by just grabbing the virtual thing and then expanding it to the size I want. It's pretty cool. Absolutely cool system. And then you can see I'm making it bigger. So literally I have almost like a maybe 27 inch monitor, you know, in front of me right now. And I think I can even go to like up to 40 inch monitor type of mock-up. And then over here, you can see again my, my device and then the soccer ball over here. I'm going to, you know, exit out or close it. But you can see the camera in real time is scanning the environment I'm in so it's not like anything else so you can see I just dragged the soccer ball next to a soccer goalie over there it makes pretty sense to have a soccer ball next to a soccer goal right so and here is the browser window I mean again this is just a quick demo I hope that you know you see what the HoloLens is capable of and uh, you can see what the possibilities you can do with it. And I'm just moving this browser screen somewhere else now. See, I moved it to the, next to the chair. And that's a virtual keyboard now. So whenever you move anything, like when you try and search for it, I find it better to search using the voice. The keyboard is great, but for me, I still think that voice search is better. And as you can see, I'm using voice search to get something, you know, you know, search for something. New on this one, so I'm not sure how to use the hand gesture yet. And I think the way I read the instructions is supposed to be letting me like close my pinch my hand together. That's how I can use to open. But I haven't had much luck on it. it. Could be the collaboration. Maybe it could be the way I'm using again. You know, but the idea is behind this is super great and I think you can also use a voice gesture as well which to open things to close things I haven't figured out yet I think that would be cool is using this HoloLens device to study for IT certification if you want to see that please comment like the video it would be nice to see how can I study for certificate using this device because I can see where I have like maybe a YouTube video or maybe LinkedIn learning pulled up and then I can watch those videos along that I can write down what I see you'll be freaking out some people in a Starbucks or coffee shop I think that would be cool if you want to see that please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already let's continue on so you can see the video compared to your you know regular windows and I'm using I'm filming this at night so it's not as the biggest quality for me I look I see it great but for you guys I don't think you can you can see how good this is and the video quality I'm watching is also not the best so this is not a you know a dig on the device or anything it's just a, the quality is not great and uh, 
I'm using a screen mirroring device that's also could be questionable. The next time what I'm gonna do is use the HoloLens itself to record it and try to bring you guys the quality video. But for now, this was just a quick intro and to show you the device capabilities along that. Yeah, so thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I, I hope that this was a bit better video than the last time. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Have a great rest of the day. See you next time.